morning, my friends and parents. Um, welcome to another day of seeing this happy face. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to get, um, the other day I read a book. We talked about colors. Today we're doing a little bit of gross motor movement. And all that is is I know your kids probably got a lot, a lot, a lot of energy. So this gives them a chance to go out in the yard and do a little scavenger hunt. Um, pick up rocks, look at rocks, have them describe the rocks to you. Um, if by chance you live someplace and you don't have any rocks, you know, spare rocks or little rocks laying around, you can use anything that you have at home. And that's what I'm trying to do with all my videos and activities. I'm trying to find things, Miss Patricia and Miss Frida is trying to find activities that's fun, educational, age appropriate, and most important things that you can do that you might have at home. Um, so I figured rocks, you know, it's kind of a pretty day outside. Um, so what we're gonna do is you go out and you can use as many as many rocks you want. I'm only doing five, because I didn't want to bring a lot of rocks into the house. And um, so you get your rocks and you get a marker or anything and write the numbers on there. One, two, three, four, five. And as you can see, all my rocks are different. So this one's kind of a reddish color. This is kind of a gray and white. And then we've got, this is kind of looking like a triangle. You know, this is, this is a white rock. So you want them to tell you uh, the number, of course, but that you want to give directions. Um, have them tell you what color the rock is. Is it um, smooth? Is it bumpy? Is it soft? Is it hard? Um, big? Which one's big? Which one's little? Or small, medium, and large? We've already talked about that in our school classroom. So they do know the concept of small, medium, and large, and big and little. So just get them engaged in conversation. Um, so what you're going to do is you could do this outside or you could bring them inside, but I prefer, I think, outside, if you can get outside. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the rocks with the numbers down. Okay, see if I can do this. Just bear with me. I'm doing something new, so. Okay. So you're going to put the rocks down, numbers down. Okay. You can mix them all up. I don't know where the numbers are at. You're going to have them pick one rock. Tell them the number. What number is this, boys and girls? Two. That's right. So then you could give them two directions or two things you could do. Like, I want you to jump up and down two times. One, two. Okay? Have them do the same thing and go through all the rocks. What number do I have now? Three. I want you to twirl around three times. One, two, three. Ooh, I got me a little loopy. So you can go through, you can do setups, you can run, you can jump, you can hop, you can do setups, jumping jacks, um, anything that you want. Just get them out, get them motivated, and get them talking and discussing. Well, that's all I've got for today. And um, this week is just basically us just giving you little small activities to do. Um, next week, starting Monday, uh, we will uh, start our classroom where I will go over shapes, colors, numbers, like I started at the beginning. So if you're not on my Google Classroom, um, you need to get in contact with me and get you logged in. Um, because that's very important. It's a classroom just as if they was coming to school every single day. So all my videos and everything I post, I post on Remind. If you're not on Remind yet, I need you to do that as well. You will need c class codes. So I have contacted the ones that has not got on Remind yet. So um, get in touch with me. My videos goes on Remind. It goes on Google Classroom, and it also goes on um, my YouTube. So you all stay safe, wash your hands, 
and be good for your moms and dads and parents and grandparents. Don't be all crazy and loopy-loo. Well, you all have a great day. We all love you. Miss you. God bless.